Hey everybody, this is Sam Mallory from sammallory.com. Thanks for reading my blog and visiting my website and all that great kind of stuff. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Sescom cable. Um, this is the LN2 mic Zoom H4N. What it is is a cable that allows you to connect a portable digital recorder like the Zoom H4N and plug it into a video enabled DSLR camera like this Nikon here. So, um, let's crack it open. Uh, pretty basic packaging here. Right on, and there's the cable. Now, this may look like a normal uh, mini plug to mini plug stereo cable, but it's not. Um, it's actually very special. Well, not special, it's just kind of unique. So what makes this cable great is that uh, it's, it's not just a mini plug to mini plug. It's a mini plug cable with a built-in inline signal attenuation. So it turns the volume down inside of this cable. And that's important because the headphone output on the Zoom H4n and the input on the camera are... Uh, are different. And the idea behind all of this is uh, so you can mount your uh, recorder on top of the DSLR camera and then use its microphones as kind of like an external microphone for the camera. Um, and the ideal thing you do is you record onto the external portable recorder and you record into the camera. So you've got two copies of the audio and uh, all is happy in the world. So the way you would kind of set this up is you take a, a separately available little gadget like this. This is a Peristone accessory shoe adapter, I think is what it's called. And the Zoom H4n has this, uh, I believe that's a quarter 20 thread on it, same size as a tripod. And this Peristone adapter screws into the bottom. So. There you see we are screwing it into the bottom. Um, so the Peristone has these two little things that allow you to uh, straighten this out and tighten it into place so you can kind of get it right where you want it. And just like that, look at it. Look at that beautiful, beautiful thing. The zoom says it's now loading. We'll give it a moment. Oh, look at it. Coming to life before our very eyes. I'm going to use a Peristone clapper slate to sync my video. So basically, uh, I think this sounded best when the headphone output on the Zoom H4n was set to 50. That's where I've got it set now. Um, just to be completist, the built-in microphones on the uh, Zoom H4n are set to a 90 degree angle. I'm standing, or I'm sitting about I'd say three feet away from the microphones right now. And the uh, level on the recording levels on the Zoom H4n are set at 80. And I believe my meters are bouncing around negative 12 dB. So that sounds like a pretty good sweet spot. Um, and I think that's about it. I think the cable works. Uh, I think it's a decent thing to have around. Uh, cheaper than buying an external microphone, that's for sure. Anyway, so uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, one last thing I'll do is unplug the uh, cable from the camera so we can hear what the built-in microphone sounds like on this Nikon D300S. This is what the built-in microphone sounds like on the Nikon D300S. As you can see, I've unplugged my Zoom H4n. Our hero of the day, the Sescom cable is unplugged now, so this is what it sounds like, uh, just the regular built-in microphone. So there you have it, um, the Sescom Zoom H4n output cable thing, um, works just as well, I believe, with a Zoom H1 recorder and probably any kind of recorder, but you want to make sure that the recorder you're using can easily be mounted to the shoe of a camera. I know the Zoom H1 has a quarter 20 thread at the base of it, much like the Zoom H4n, so you can easily use 
a shoe adapter like that pair stone one that I used. Um, so anyway, thanks for checking out this blog post and I uh, hope you found it interesting. Uh, I'll see you around. Thanks.